guys and welcome back to more with moros now today's video is going to be a organization video i am going to be organizing the girls clothes and closet and also going through all of scarlett's old clothes and what she doesn't fit anymore and going ahead and just taking that out of the closet and putting it up that way we can free some space as well for new clothes also i am doing a face-to-face -face intro this time i feel like our last videos we didn't do some kind of formal intro so i wanted to do it for this video and kind of explain to you guys beforehand what this video was going to be. The girls that I talk about is our two youngest girls, Harlow and Scarlett. One is three years old and one is one years old. Now, I should clarify that they're technically not sharing rooms yet. Scarlett, our one-year-old, is still in the room with us, but this will eventually be their room that they share. They do have all of their clothes in here. You guys see the dresser, the closet. So all of their stuff is in here, just not Scarlett's crib yet and i should also say that this is going to be a new series on more with moros i told you guys we were going to do makeover videos as part of one series well this is going to be a separate series with focusing on different areas of our house and helping you guys organize so not only am i going to be organizing our house i want to give you guys ideas tips tricks on how you can organize yours as well and i have to give a huge credit first of all to pinterest because that's where i get a majority of my ideas when it comes to organization or cleaning, decorating, you name it. I get so much inspiration from there. So a lot of these organization things and tips and tricks and uh, products that I'll be showing you guys, I got a lot of those ideas on Pinterest, but I definitely want to be able to link those products for you guys in our description. So if you guys are wanting to also organize different areas of your house, you guys will have those products that you can buy down below. So let me first show you guys what I have, what I'm gonna be organizing, and how I'm gonna organize, and the things that I've gotten to help me organize. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now. All right, so these boxes right here are new hangers for the girls' clothes. So I'll show you guys those hangers in a second, and then on top, I bought a whole bunch of drawer dividers. I love love drawer dividers. I actually have a ton in our kitchen so once I do like a kitchen organization video I'll be showing you guys that. So originally I bought these clear adjustable drawer dividers but the thing about these is if you guys can see in the picture you have to adjust it first and then clip. It's not like a uh, suspended or like a spring adjustable which I didn't realize that. I thought it was going to be a spring divider like the ones in the kitchen. So I tried them out as you guys can see, and they are very, very wobbly. I guess this drawer length is not really compatible with these dividers because I can't, there's no way I can tighten it any, anymore, but it's like the right length to make it not stay still. And then I realized that these are the same way. So I'm hoping that these will work. I get in trouble so much with ordering online, specifically Amazon, because I won't read the description. I just assumed all dividers were adjustable with a spring, like the ones in the kitchen. I wish they were, so crossing my fingers that these will work in the drawer. So we'll be focusing on organizing all of their clothes. I keep all of their bottoms. Well, some onesies I need to go through, but I keep most of their bottoms in the drawers. We have shorts and bathing suit stuff. Scarlett's is a little bit more sporadic. She has a lot more newborn stuff in her drawers. As you guys can see, there's a lot more in there. And we already have these dividers. These are from Ikea. So I'll show you guys how I'll be doing that. And then I will move on to the closet. So we actually did a video on this whole closet system. If you guys want to check it out, I'll be leaving a link down below. I definitely suggest getting some kind of closet system because we were able to utilize this space so, so much. Let me back up a little bit. So before we had just the one wire shelf up there, but we have all of this space down the middle and then the two racks on each side. So this area is pretty much organized. The only thing I will need to go through is a lot of Scarlett's old clothes that she can no longer fit in, like all her baby clothes. I've been hanging on to these because I just don't want to, I just don't want to put them up yet, but I know that I need to go through these because they're taking up a huge chunk of her clothes. And as you guys can see over here, I have so much clothes to put away. These are clothes that they've been wearing, but I have a whole laundry basket full of clothes that was Harlow's old clothes that Scarlett can now fit in. I'm so happy I saved a lot of her clothes because like I said, now Scarlett can wear them as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I know this is gonna take me a while to go through everything and reorganize it. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you guys do, 
please give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Let's get some sun, baby. All right, so the first thing that I wanna talk about is the actual dividers themselves. They were 10 times better than the clear ones. I definitely like these a lot better. So if you also have the Ikea dresser like I do for the girls, I definitely suggest getting those because they fit perfectly in the drawer. I don't know about other dressers because all we have is pretty much Ikea furniture, but I definitely will say they are more sturdy than the clear ones. So if you're looking for some clothes dividers, I definitely suggest getting these ones. So in that previous clip, I was showing you guys how I ended up folding all of their clothes to fit into their drawers. So let's just talk about that for a second because I've always seen this method before and I always thought it was super extra, super time consuming, which this whole video was very time consuming. You will see the whole process of it all. But I was like, what is, what's the point? So let me tell you because I noticed two things as I was doing this. One, you guys can see there is so much space. Harlow has so much pajama bottoms, so many leggings and pants. And as you can see, I was able to fit all of their clothes or all of her clothes in there and I still had room. Whereas before it just seemed like it was cluttered. So I know it kind of seems tedious to go through all of that and it seems extra like I said, but I'm telling you guys, I saved so much space. And then the second thing that I realized was I was able to see all of her pants. I don't know if you guys saw in the very beginning, but I kind of just had her pants stacked on top of each other in her drawer. And you know, if I needed pajama bottoms or if I needed pants, I would have to go and like look underneath and mess it all up anyways after it's been folded. So by doing it the way that I showed you guys, I don't know if that's the KonMari method. You guys will have to let me know. I don't follow any of the KonMari methods, but I can definitely see why so many people do that because of the space and the fact that I can see all of her clothes. I can just take it out. I don't have to go rummaging and then I can just easily put it back in there, just taking that one extra step. So not only am I going through all of their bottoms and organizing those, but I'm also going through all of their socks, all of Scarlett's newborn things. Um, I went through Harlow's socks and whatever didn't fit her, I kind of just rotated to Scarlett, but if there was missing socks, and I know that they've been missing for a while, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of them just to clear some extra space and get rid of some socks. And also, like I said, Scarlett's newborn things are still in here, so I wanted to go through all of that, get rid of the stuff, not get rid of it, we were still saving it, but pretty much just going through all of the stuff that no longer fits her. So the next thing that I moved on to was putting all of the felt hangers on the girls' clothes. Well, you guys will see here in a second. I actually need to get some more hangers. I was only able to do most of Harlow's clothes, but this definitely took the most time. This was the most time consuming thing of the whole process. So I will be completely honest with you guys. Just like the dividers, I thought, what is the purpose of felt hangers? Is it just for, you know, it to be aesthetically pleasing to the eyes, which I do think that it is, but what is the real purpose of them? And as I was doing this whole process, I realized that the clothes were not slipping off the hangers like they were with the plastic hangers. That was always an issue, especially getting clothes, because they do have a lot of clothes, so it is very close together, and sometimes it's hard taking their clothes out. So I realized that the felt hangers keep them more secure. And then the second thing that I realized was that they do have a ultra slim profile, so it's definitely going to maximize your space in your closet, and I was able to fit a lot more clothes on there. So if you were wondering what's the purpose of felt hangers like I was, that definitely makes a lot more sense to me, and I will definitely be getting some more for the rest of the kids' clothes, and I will definitely have to order some more for Scarlett's clothes because I did end up running out of hangers. So 
I did want to go ahead and mention that while I was doing this whole organization process, just like I was taking out Scarlett's old things that don't fit her anymore, I did the same in her closet or in their closet as well. I went through all of her clothes, took out all the clothes that I knew that don't fit her anymore and started replacing it like I showed you guys before with all of Harlow's old clothes that Scarlett will eventually wear. So this process, the whole organization process and going through all of their clothes it was definitely time consuming but it's definitely worth it like after you get everything organized and you know that all of their clothes are being utilized and you're not wasting space it's such a rewarding feeling just to have everything organized at least it is for me I don't know organization feeds my soul and I always get questions Brittany how do you stay so organized like how do you keep this going I think honestly I've just trained my brain and it's like natural nature or second nature to me to just keep up with the organization you know I would be lying if I said that I was organized all the time every single day obviously that is impossible with four kids but for example if I'm doing their laundry I will put everything back where they go and I really genuinely try to stay consistent with it I think consistency is key definitely when it comes to organization but trust me you guys I know it's hard sometimes to keep up with it's just one of those things you just gotta keep working at and then eventually you just get so used to it that it's not even a chore to you anymore if that makes sense because I know sometimes organization can be a pain in the butt So the last thing that I needed to do was go ahead and take all of Scarlett's old clothes that don't fit her anymore, take them off the hangers. As you guys can see, we have a lot, a lot of plastic hangers and I am just folding them so that they can be stored away in storage bins. So it's up to you guys if you want to donate them or store them away. We are just holding on to them just in case baby number five is a girl. All right, so really quickly, I wanted to show you guys these clear drawers that I got off of Amazon. They actually came the next day after I did this organization video, so I wanted to still include it in this video to help you guys out with some organization ideas. So I have this huge storage caddy full of like medicine, well not medicine, but it's like all like toiletries for babies. What is the word I'm looking for? Health related stuff like the nose Frida and diaper cream, things like that. So this is like a great way to organize all of that stuff and they're stackable so you can stack as many as you want. You guys can store so many different things in here. I think it would also be a great idea for like little baby shoes or bows. You can really put anything that you want in these drawers and it's a great way to save space in a closet or on a dresser and organize all baby stuff. All right guys, so I just got done organizing all of the girls clothes, the closet, the dresser, everything this is actually all full of scarlet's newborn clothes old clothes we're going to be saving or holding on to those we actually need to get another bin because there was a lot more clothes as you can see that we need to put up that is not going to fit in there but a majority of what you guys see in here was taking up a lot of space in the dresser i'll show you guys here in a minute and then a lot of these clothes were taking up space in the closet all right so starting with the dresser i'll probably have done some kind of voiceover as well but i really really like these dividers a lot better than the clear ones so we have all of harlow's pajamas right here and i showed you guys how i folded those super simple i always wondered how people organized that kind of stuff really do it really to my clothes. you want to do it to your clothes bud listen look at me what Trust me, I will do it to your clothes as well. And then we have all of her pants and leggings. And then we have the shorts and summer stuff. I'll probably end up putting the winter stuff up. I just need to get some more storage bins, undies, and socks. And then this is going to be an extra drawer, so I don't know what's going to be in there. So that's awesome that I have extra storage. And then Scarlet's, we got her sock, like stockings, and her socks over there. Um, this is just extra stuff, passies. I probably need to put those away, but I'm kind of holding on to them for um, baby number five. And then this is just some extra stuff, like extra covers for this, for the sound machine. That's right. And then extra hooks for their bow holder, which speaking of their bow holder, even though I didn't show it in this video or show organizing it, I've gotten some questions in the past about it. You can find these 
at Ikea, they're so inexpensive. I actually got these three racks and the hooks all less than $20, $25. All you have to do is just slide the hook on there and then you can add your bows. Honestly, you could use this probably for many other things, but I think it's really cute with all the bows. And then in this one, we again have summer stuff, winter, and then these are all of bloomers um, and like little shorts that fit Scarlet. And then the last drawer, we have all of Scarlet's pants and leggings, shorts, more leggings back here and then all of her pajama bottoms. And then I did still have some space over here, so I just have a onesie, <laughs> this one. She actually has a few more that are in the wash right now, so I'll just probably add it to this side as well. Last but not least, so you guys probably caught on that I ran out of the felt hangers. I was so close, so close before I ran out. But I will say, I like these better than the plastic ones because they're not going to slip off. That was like a huge thing, issue, annoyance when it came to their clothes was that they would just easily slip off all the time. So I do like that about them. I do like that they're bigger, so they're able to fit or start fitting bigger clothes that Harlow's in. It just looks neater when they're all the same. That's driving me crazy though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order some more hangers. They were pretty inexpensive on Amazon. Of course, I'll be leaving as many links as I can down below for you guys to check out, especially the hangers and the dividers, but I'll definitely be ordering some more so I can do Scarlet's clothes as well. I ordered 100. I thought that would have been enough. So I did take out some older clothes that don't fit her anymore. So all of her old clothes that don't fit her anymore are out. So we have tank tops, shirts, then it goes to rompers, dresses, longer rompers, and then all of her rags. These used to be Scarlet's, not Scarlet's, Harlow's, and then some longer rompers as well. These are June and January rompers that don't fit her yet. Then we have pajamas and then all long sleeve. I forgot to show you guys. I do the same thing with Harlow's side as well. This is all pajamas, and then these are dressers, dressers? dresses, rompers, and like overalls, and then tank tops, t-shirts, or short sleeves, and then long sleeves. And since we've done their closet organization video that I was talking about earlier, nothing has really changed as far as this section, but I'll just go over it really quick in case you guys haven't seen that video. So I actually need to go through all of this stuff. I just, like I said, need to get some more storage bins because we don't have any, we currently don't have any, but I'm gonna have to put away most of these blankets. They're like newborn swaddles, but they still use these blankets, so I'll definitely keep those there. In this drawer, we have Harlow's nighttime diapers, wipes and then this is just a little extra space. I did get an extra one of these but what I think I'm gonna have to do is move that shelf up and then put this one here. And then we have fitted sheets. These are now for Scarlet because Harlow has a twin size bed now. Um, this is all wraps which I'm gonna of course be saving for baby number five um, like baby wearing wraps and then at the top is shoes that I'm just waiting for Scarlet to fit into. These are all of um, Harlow's old shoes. And then if you're curious about this stuff, this is just all my extra breast pump and pumps and bottles down there that I will of course need in about four to five months. We got a bassinet up there. What does that call? A basket? It's like a little bassinet and a boppy pillow, changing table, just extra baby stuff that I know I'm gonna need and I'm not gonna put up right away. All right guys, so that is gonna wrap it up for this organization video. Definitely leave down in the comments down below what would you guys like me to organize next? I have a few ideas. I have some closet, like closet for me, and bathroom organization ideas. If you guys would like to see that, linen closet organization. I already have all of that stuff ready to go, so let me know which one you guys would see next. Or if you have any other suggestions, definitely leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys at our next More With Morrows video. Bye, guys. I don't know.